Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I will be describing and demonstrating the routing system of Yamaha's AG03 mixing console USB audio interface. The same concept to a certain degree will also apply to Yamaha's AG06 mixing console. Here we see a typical layout and connections of musical instruments, microphone and our headphone and a laptop or a PC to record our musical creation with the Yamaha AG03 mixing console in the middle. We would normally connect the microphone to channel 1 and an electric guitar into channel 2, a headphone connection so we can hear our music and a USB cable to our laptop. Depending what we want to record and how we want to record, the routing system available in Yamaha AG03 allows us to have three different options. In a typical recording session, when we want to record our musical instrument like a guitar separately and then sing using the microphone once the guitar has been recorded and so on, so independent multi-track recording, we can have our routing system as dry channel 1 and 2G. This allows us to hear the microphone and the guitar centered on our headphones, like in mono, but when it's recorded on our DAW, the channel 1 or the left is only microphone and channel 2 or the right is only the guitar. We could be playing the guitar and singing to the microphone at the same time. With this routing option, we can still record the microphone and the guitar on separate tracks. This routing, the dry channel, it means that the signal from the microphone or from the guitar is directly sent to the USB as separate channel. We can still apply compression and EQ and effects to our vocal and to our guitar and we can hear those in our headphones but they are recorded as dry signals those effects won't be added to our recording on our DAW. By pressing the monitor mute button down we can disable the direct monitoring that means any signal coming from the input of our mixer like the microphone and the guitar but the output the headphone as well as the speakers are directed to what will be coming back from our USB via our DAW this allows us to have a listen what is actually being recorded there will be some latency but with Yamaha's AG03 ASIO drivers this is minimized this is a great way to monitor what's being recorded if we are using any VSDI instrument in our BAW for our guitars, like guitar amp simulators. Or if we want to add some effects to our microphone, like delay, we can use this option as well. By selecting our routing system as input mix, this option basically combines the microphone and the guitar channels into one stereo channel, combining it as a mix as left and right. When we are recording in our DAW, we can select left and right, and this will be the combined mix. In a scenario where we want a guitar being played while we are singing, by combining both the microphone and the guitar together, we can actually get combined mic signal going into our DAW. In this routing position of input mix selected, when we enable compression and EQ or the e reverb effect, these effects are actually added to our left and right channel. So when we do record, we will have those effects applied to them. For example, if you like to add compression and EQ to the microphone before it is recorded in our DAW, we can select the input mix, unplug our guitar, plug in our microphone, and when we sing, any compression and EQ option selected in the Yamaha's AG03 mixer 
will be applied and recorded in our DAW. Same with the guitar. We can disconnect the microphone, connect the guitar, apply compression and EQ or reverb, as well as the built-in amp simulator, then all those effects will be applied and recorded in our DAW. We can still monitor what's being recorded by pushing down the monitor mute button while in the input mix option. This allows us to monitor what's being recorded in our DAW. To record a musical instrument like keyboard, synthesizers and drum machines, input mix routing selection is the only way. This allows a dry and direct signal of the left and the right outputs of our musical instrument to be sent out to the left and right mix of our audio interface. Any compression or EQ or reverb effect selected will not be applied into our recording being sent to our DAW. And finally, the loopback option in our routing system. This not only allows us to combine the channel 1, channel 2 or the musical instrument coming in, as well as the compression EQ or reverb effect being applied to our mix signal, any audio coming from our DAW as playback is also added into the outgoing mix to our DAW via the USB. This is handy if you want to record everything combined. Not very useful for multi-track recording, but it's very useful if you are doing any live podcasting or YouTube streaming. That means any music being played on your laptop is combined to your microphone or your guitar being played live and then sent back to your audio or video streaming software, combining all of the sounds together into one output. Well, I hope my brief and basic explanation of Yamaha's AG03 mixing console USB audio interfaces routing system was uh, useful for you. Now you know what the three positions of the routing switch will do and how to apply into your mixing and recording uh, situation. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was helpful, please give me the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to visit my website, recordingstudio9.com. There's a lot more information and topics and blogs available, which is not on YouTube. And I hope I'll see you there as well. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you make great music. Cheerio.